All right, folks, it took a few minutes to get going, but we are underway. Already a bit of an odd diva placement out of this guy. Spawning to the top left, we do have the green player repping his team colors from Jinair. It's Cure. In the bottom right, as the blue Terran. He's alive. About to be T-Raxed. Yeah, so uh, part of the depot placement, guys, is like, yeah, you could put this on the ramp, but honest to goodness, the few extra minerals you save by keeping the SV at home might actually be worth it when you're going cheesy like this and every mineral counts. Right. I, I think that is the case. Now, Live is going for a barracks on the... It's Odyssey, so there's a hop-up spot on the hop-up spot, but that's not necessarily where T-Rex Reaper gets its power. It... It is where it gets its tiny victories, especially if you're well prepared for it. Maybe you didn't expect them to come up from the other side of the ramp. But really, if you do this, but still go one racks expand, like you're still in trouble. But Alive's not one racks expanding. He's getting a second gas, and he actually has a very good setup, especially if he walls off. Cure maybe done goofed. But that's always it's, the risk. Yeah, it's game one. I kind of like taking the risk in the first game because you really don't know how your opponent's playing and. Well, you're not in your last life, so you don't feel like there's a lot of value to losing like you normally would be. Either way, I, uh, I don't know. Not so great, but doesn't have to be the worst thing in the world. Mm. If he can maybe get six SCVs and delay a live starport, yeah, he's already firing on his way to factory. Then that is still okay. This isn't walling off. That is it. It's so not. Plot depot. Yeah, he needs hmm. he needs one more, one more piece of the puzzle. It still would limit the the ease of entering the base, is the best way to put it. So, it's still worth. The super's gonna scout. Oh, t t and immediately turn around. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> He's got this big gun's looking cool, but yeah. Watch ah! out. That's still not Whoops. a wall. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alive, what are you doing, man? Well, I don't know about keeping them in either. He's gonna lose the Reaper now. Ah, well, it's Cycl Cyclone is gonna beat everything anyway, so they're really. <laughs> he just needs to buy time. <laughs> this looks <laughs> a lot of damage done. The SVs are being pulled, so they're not mining. I mean, yes, the cyclone will eventually clean this up. But Kier's already secured a pretty nice worker lead through this. Yeah, I said like seven or eight SCVs, something like that. Exactly what he was able to get. Alive might not have wanted to go into a starport anyways, which is the complicated new thing about TVT. Cyclone opener, cyclone in a, in a double CC is, is kind of a fine opener. But um, yeah, five worker lead. Factory is definitely farther behind. He's not going to have Cyclones. <laughs> but <laughs> enough Reapers can take on a Cyclone. You just need enough of them. Yeah, numbers will still win. I was just going to mention briefly, though. Thank you, everybody, for your suggestions in chat. I, the, the topic before wasn't that I couldn't. Like, there's tons of totally not legal and, like, shady ways to watch these things. I'm just saying I wish region locking video content period wasn't an issue even twitch does like football games and stuff i can't watch and they see all my friends tweeting about it like <laughs> it's very frustrating yeah. it's not it's not like hey guys tell me a site that i can use it's hey guys this is a problem and i wish it wasn't i can imagine how many like cross copyright don't allow it in this company companies us blah 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 stuff that happens but um I had another point, but that Cyclone did do a lot of damage. I think that Kira just didn't realize it across the map, so uh, but, now that he realizes... This Reapers get back in here. He delays out the command center. He kills more SCVs. This is enough Reapers to kill a Cyclone, by the way, if that pops out. So he's got to either do a ton of damage on the other side of the map or just die. And Alive looks like he's dying. I think he just dies. Even though there's a, a Reaper and a Cyclone in here, Mass oh, Repair mass will repair. win this out. And a couple of... Yeah, shot. GG. All right. <laughs> I didn't think the Reapers would work, but they did. And Cure takes game number one. Mm-hmm. <coughs> what a weird way for that to play out, but uh, TVT is a weird spot right now anyways. Uh, mostly just because we don't get to see it all that often. Uh, we did miss some subs, by the way. Thank you, Wasted Profit, for the brand new sub, Twitch Prime. Glad to have you with us. And Sump Froshin, thank you for the seven month resub. Rocking that Twitch Prime. <laughs> Always got some extra love for the Twitch Prime, guys. Ooh, I just accepted somebody on my friends list. I didn't know who that was. That's a risky move. Was it a Korean name? Yes. Hey, it was uh, Black Mamba, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I was like, hmm. You fronted me too, trouble. and I like waited a game to think about it, and then when he lost, I was like, nah. Have you seen the uh, the issues going on with Overwatch recently, by the way? A lot of the big streamers? No. People have found out, like, if you can get their IDs, you just, like, spam add them, and if you unadd them quick enough, they can't block you. So people are just, like, making terrible names and, like, spam adding and unadding and adding and unadding. Oh. And it shows that display, because it's Overwatch at the top of the screen. So-and-so has added you to their friends list, right? Mm-hmm. Anyways, I, I feel bad for everyone that's got that going on. That's what I was kind of worried about might have just happened, but never mind. It's Catalyst, guys. We'll see you for game two. Do, 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 do. Just in time to see Sicarius. Sicarius. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Thank you for the brand new sub. Real sub, too. That's some car hard, cold cash. Thank you very much, man. Brand new sub. Welcome to the Base Trade Brigade. Game number two, though, kicks off. In the bottom right, we have the Blue Terran alive. Currently down one in the series. In top left, that was the Green Terran. He is Cure. Another sub coming in with Slayer Link X. Thank you for the Prime sub. Also glad to have you on board. Yeah, I mentioned the uh, sub depression earlier. Are you feeling this on your channel too, or is that just uh, because it's, I think it's happening to everybody right now? Yeah, it did happen to everyone. You know, I, I had gotten to 205, and then I dropped to 190, and then I dropped to 180. But I'm actually quite happy that I'm I I didn't drop to like 150. <laughs> yeah, you're still around like that ballpark, right? Like yeah. Yeah. Well, it's of course going to be less dramatic with lower numbers, percentage usually, but... Yeah, whenever it loses 10%, 10% <laughs> can be more to a lot of people. Um, I get, man, I get so crazy jealous, so uh, one of the streamers I really like, I'm sure some of you guys know who is, Pokimane, she just tweeted she got like 4,000 subs, and my brain being what oh. it is, it's like, first off, that's a lot of subs, that's really cool, but I'm also like, okay, times that by like two and a half, three dollars, like 12,000 bucks a month, yeah. like what the fuck? Yeah. Well, I mean, when Shroud was up at 40,000 subs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now he's at like a lonely 32,000. Like, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like, even the percentage is going to scale that way too. But yeah, man, uh, I know Winter's got like 2K. There's some people with some crazy sub counts. I'm not going to lie. I wish we had more, but I'm also not too upset because uh, we've been we've been consistently now over 1,000 subs for many months, uh, sitting around currently 1,124. And... I don't know, hopefully we'll do some really cool stuff that just entices people to sub. Hopefully. It's tough though, there's no equation for that, right? There's no like, okay, you did X, so somebody will sub. It really is just like, how are people feeling today? <laughs> yeah, of course. But, I don't oh. know. Lots of subs, little subs. Always trying to put on the best show that we can for you guys. Uh, Cure coming in, not gonna be able to stop this from building. Alive should respond. Yeah, two Reapers will beat this out. Perhaps if the grenade had hit the Reapers. A cure didn't just go for this Reaper. Um, Alive has not scouted. He kept his Reapers at home, even though he went for two. It's always a little dangerous, not knowing what they're doing. So he keeps them at home. Doesn't realize that cure did go for a much faster factory. There's still a command center on the way. He didn't go up to a starport, but that cyclone count will, I guess, be in favor of cure. It's such a small favor, though, that it usually is like, literally the length of the map that gets Alive to be even again. But maybe Kira can do something, especially if Alive ever thinks he can stop making Cyclones. That's the, the ultimate gotcha. You think you don't need Cyclones? You're dead. This pickle got him. Cyclones are... That, that's, that's so scary about them. They're so volatile that they can't even properly 1v1 themselves. They will always kill each other in a fair... Like, as long as nobody, like, move commands, there's no outside forces. Like, that's how crazy the damage is. At least with Reapers, someone Ooh. still stands at the end of the day. What's also really dumb about Cyclone uh, matches, and this is turning into one, whoever stops against Cyclones is really in danger because Alive went for that reactor factory with no starport. Whoever has the Cyclones on the front lines first, which is Cure, can expand dramatically faster. It's really, really dumb. So even though he is, should lose the Cyclone War with two popping out now, he still has had this little moment of time that He's, he's the one containing, and Alive is about his third CC, not too far off time, but not on location, so it really will uh, affect the game as, as it goes on. Kira could even get a, a really much faster fourth base in a couple minutes, and I wouldn't be shocked. Uh, actually, it's an interesting dynamic you bring up with the front line, too, because one of the other big problems that comes with Cyclone fights is also the fact that their range is limited. So you can have 10 Cyclones over your opponent, but sometimes you just can't get in there to fight with them. And if you move in to get those extra shots off, 
the damage from the other cyclones are so volatile. You uh, you might actually lose the fight because you moved in to position your other cyclones. Yep. It is. It's so silly to watch. That's why I say like, I really just don't get this matchup, man. It's not because like oh Rifkin doesn't understand the dynamics of it. It's like I don't understand the thought process of the dynamics. Behind it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he tries to stall this out. It's not too bad. The Reapers are being driven off, but while these distract those Cyclones, Alives might get in here, and if he wraps mm. around Cure, he's got damaged he Cyclones. Wouldn't, he wouldn't win if he went to the, the right side first, but catching two instead of four, he might win now? Oh, well, no, no, oh, he's not. It's very awkward, the way he took this fight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> this is just uh, as a whole awkward, uh, but SCDs are really good against Cyclones, so these are not like Hellions running in. You don't actually ah. get that excited. Oh, oh. Yeah, speaking of aliens. Maybe this there was just go. the sickest, most expensive distraction, because these trade out okay in the main, not great. But the Hellions come in and get some nice dis oh, 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 oh. That went from oh, good to great. Nice. 16 workers dead in the third base? Yeah, sure, it's on location, but that's not going to make up for 10 workers. No, it's not. This was a really nice maneuver. It was a bit of a risk for Alive to make Hellions instead of Cyclones. What if his Cyclones were caught? He would just be losing the Cyclone War after that. But they weren't. Excellent execution, and Alive has gotten a big lead. His third CC still isn't going over, and it's also not producing three SCDs at a time, so it's like maybe a missed opportunity. But 22 SCDs, that's, that's going to take an awful lot of Alive not doing something for Cure to come back. Yeah, Alive goes into super turtle mode for no reason. Yeah. Uh, he's going to take the forward third, which does seem to be becoming more popular for Terrans in, in many matchups. Um, and since he, I think, really feels like he's going to be quite ahead in this game, he will probably also be the aggressor, so... The space to, to cure is the shortest path he can take now. Well, Cure's going to hop on top of this. He can't even lift off because the Cyclone anti-air rockets are pretty good, so... You're better off lifting off sooner than later, uh -oh, but you're still not uh -oh. going to be safe. Actually, this is bad. Don't he's do it! Don't do it! He's going to lose the CC! Oh my god! Uh, why, why do people continue to underestimate Cyclones? People who use Cyclones underestimate Cyclones. Well, so much for that lead he had secured. Right? Unfortunately, seven SCVs, uh, it does not beat out a third CC. Yeah. All he really needed, even if he thought he wouldn't have as many Cyclones, because remember, he gave so many away, kind of distracting. If he had just brought more SCVs on the front to the third base, he could have combined together Cyclones and SCVs, so it would have been enough. Or just lift a damn thing earlier. Lifting, uh, to be clear, I, I don't think lifting would have guaranteed a save, but it had a much better chance than leaving it on the ground, that's for sure. Well, we continue with the double reactor production. We got double upgrades for Alive. Uh, just like the marine dynamic in TVT, upgrades are a pretty big deal for Cyclones. So this will be yes. really nice getting 1-1 one, one ahead of his opponent. That was, I think, where the direct translation of the, the damage was done. The SCVs died, and then Alive got much faster armory, so he didn't really start the upgrades that fast. So Cure might catch up. Unfortunately, not not with this 1-1, one, one, but maybe in the 2-2. Two, two. Well, there's also other dynamics to this too, right? Like, okay, maybe Alive's got the better upgrades, but if Cure goes for Liberators, there's other subtle ways for this to matter. No one's quite risking going for tanks yet, which if you risk it and, and are able to get tank numbers, you, you actually give yourself a really big lead. Yeah, but this is so innovation. awkward. Yeah, exactly. This is really awkward. Cure, I mean, both of them didn't have Cyclones attacking, but Cure, I think, oh. a little more importantly did it. And a lot of might have won this game. I just want to point out, that was the difference right there. As soon as he started shooting the Hellions, he lost it. Like, he was trading one for one. Then he shoots the Hellions. Oh, it's so much wasted shots. Uh, alive. He ties up the series one to one. What a beautiful dance of cyclones. The most beautiful micro they'll ever see. <laughs> Majestic. I'm so glad tank drops got nerfed. Uh, <laughs> totally unrelated. I'm just going to be salty for no reason. This matchup makes no sense to me, zombie grub. I don't get it anymore. It's ridiculous. Uh, but hey, we had a lot of subs coming that we didn't quite get those shoutouts for. So thank you, no no 275 Prime subbing it up. Aerobic Throne as well. He says he wants to see more Koreans. I gotcha. Thank you for that Prime sub. Beer Flare was a four-month resub. And I think we got Slayer Link X, but just to be safe, double shoutouts. Thank you very much for that Prime sub, dude. Uh, for people who do want to see more Korean action, by the way, uh, whether you're watching early in the morning now, uh, we are also going to be, with the whole BTSL not quite announcements of announcements, 
Uh, we're going to be featuring an evening show. So we're going to actually be adding something onto our roster for the weeklies where we're going to see Korean StarCraft 2, but at uh, evening Pacific, not just morning time. So hopefully you guys can catch it one hand or the other. Today might be just Monday. You're like slacking off at work, but otherwise you can't normally watch. The so Fridays when you're alone, I got nowhere to go. We got you. Sorry. That was my life. Got a little too real there. Did. A little bit. Man, okay, so... I'm not sure how to phrase this without it sounding insensitive, no matter what I do. But the people who live in my building are generally of an ethnic persuasion that prefer spicy food. And for some reason, I've noticed this more this week than any other time I've lived here. They're making, like... I swear to God, not pots, but like cauldrons of the spiciest soup in the morning for breakfast. Like, I can smell it in here like it's being cooked in my kitchen. It's stinging my eyes. Like, it's so spicy. That's pretty spicy. It's a good wake me up, I guess. Anyways, Blackpink coming up, folks. We'll see you soon. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm complaining for the sake of complaining, but I might actually need to AFK, actually, <laughs> get some tissues. My eyes are stinging so bad right now. Uh, thank you, Sirocco SC, for the 17-month resub. Let's get into it. It's game three. Top right, we got the green Terran player, Cure. In the bottom left is the blue Terran. He is alive. Yeah, I'm sorry. I got to put the camera on you. I really got to go get some tissues or something. I'll bring it back. All right. So it's tied up one to one. Cure went for the T Rex in the first game, and and <laughs> with the way Alive was setting up to defend, I don't think Cure was supposed to get the lead, but that's that's what happened. Next game, Alive shows a little bit more. Um, I, I don't want to say mastery, but some cool tactics with Cyclones to win him the game. Third game, what happens? Bo both of the last two were going to get into Cyclones. The last one just a lot longer lasting. I would not be surprised if it went into mass cyclones again. But some people asking, like, why not Ravens? Why not the Banshees, perhaps, that we saw from the last TVT? The Starport is now something that you can skip. And if you do things correctly, you are far better off for skipping it. The Raven's too expensive. It, it costs too much gas. It takes away from more cyclones, because that's the better thing to do. And for its interference banshees, that costs, it costs too much energy. doesn't take away enough cyclones to be worth the cost to the weight it's not just the raven it's also the starport that you don't technically need yeah same with um, the banshees so spicy memes i got those tissues getting out of my eyes but uh it, it was an interesting point you bring up there that i i hadn't really thought about but now re like it's one of those things that now i realize like yeah like maybe that's a big part of why i don't get the matchup anymore because the starport is not as important as it has been in the past and in the past it was like crucial mm-hmm it really is. And I think the, the biggest tell of that, because again, last TVT we saw Starports, it's not like they're entirely out of the matchup, but for instance, I, I talked about beating your opponent to the Starport in that proxy game wasn't really even a factor. <laughs> I didn't even want to go for a Starport. So it, it really has changed in that regard. And while Banshees can be uh, time buyers, they can give you a bit of safety, like if, if they're prepared for them and they, they got scans, you're not going to have a great time. So. Well, actually, it, it's funny to consider it even further because, like, so much of the game was wrapped around two Raven auto turrets. Like, that was, what, like six, no, more like five months straight of that just being the only way to play TVT? Yes. Ah, uh, it's just, it's crazy to think about the dynamic, the way that changed, and I never, never really realized it until you mentioned it just now. Man, I miss, well, I mean, I miss Tank of Axe, but... I'm just going to say, where whoever had the best control of the Banshee won. It's actually not something I miss. I take that back. Actually, that was cool, though, because I, I remember back, like, way, way back, Acer Team Story Cup. That was, like, when like, uh, whoever went the ban whoever got their Banshee there first was like, the auto winner. <laughs> yep. TVTs. I, I also miss the tank of it. That, that, that piece of art that 47S gave us is probably my most treasured thing right now, because it's the reminder of a time long ago. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, they both go for a starport this game, and both go for banshees, and this is like reminiscent of a time long, long ago. Um, by going for this, they are sacrificing straight up the cyclones they could have, and in fact, we have both of them adding on tech labs, so there is a chance they go into bio. This is much <laughs> safer done with a bunker. The fact that they both don't really scout each other yet are taking this risk is just 
coincidental okay, so more than is I think really smart. So Cure started up a tank and then cancelled it immediately, I guess, in favor of a second Banshee here. I thought they were both just gonna go tanks straight up because hey, you're worried about cyclones for well what they are or cyclones. But this is like an almost gentleman's agreement game where if it's not cyclones early, you don't usually transition to them later, right? Like you're not gonna just suddenly swap mm -hmm. over and go like ten cyclones. So we might get this final game being a much more usual looking TVT. Yeah. And even a marine tank versus marine tank. There is that, that possibility. Adding on third CCs though, or I guess in a live's case, or no, in Curious case, was there, it's live with a third CC, but this is a big problem. No detection. I think they shoot the air reliably. Marines will always be out microed, especially with one Banshee. Uh, this is the problem for both players though, because now it is a question of where's your attention split? Are you on hold position? Are you cloaked or uncloaked? Like, I guess there's no cloak for uh, alive in this case. But, oh yeah. man, he trades out really well with those marines. Absolutely. And in fact, a couple. Yep, yep. A couple more shots. Oh he finally sends down the interference God. matrix, but only after the marines are dead. He might have actually been better off just anti-armor missiling it. I think it would have killed it. It's 30 damage, right? The banshee would have died. Anti-armor has damage. It comes with a little bit of damage, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure. Am I crazy here? Where's the shift I button? Thought yeah. you're crazy. 30 splash damage. Well, I guess I never noticed the medevacs healed it fast enough. I know, it never goes off and it's a garbage ability. Nobody uses <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, equivalent to a fungal growth. Fun fact, guys. Well, Cure has gone into quite the lead. Alive, not even preparing for the possibility of Banshees. Well, not really. I guess the Raven was his attempt to, but it just it happened a little too late. Uh, he's really lost himself lead in this game because the third C was much faster. The Cures is close to its third location. It's 75% done. It is going into bio and Alive did not see this tank push coming. The second tank, not Siege, but should oh. be enough, especially with the Matrix. Yeah, the Interference Matrix there was really good. Sorry, for those who don't know what this ability is doing, the reason it goes all weird looking like that is it completely shuts it down. It can move, but it can't attack. It can't use abilities for about like uh, six seconds. And they're even thinking about buffing that duration uh, to be even more than that. Yeah, which would make the Raven a lot more desirable. I don't think it's a it's a bad thing or oh, something Jesus. we scoff at, but is it is it worth the amount of Raven cost still? That's still up in the air. But more damage done by the Banshees. The next thing that, that other one, <laughs> still not, not building missile turrets. Yeah, thank God Alive's got three CCs or he wouldn't even have a chance to come back in this game. But mm -hmm. even then, it's still rough. A lot of work is going down. Grand total of 26 SCVs picked off by Cure. Now, Cure is falling way behind on the stim timing. He, I guess, didn't, he didn't start it. Okay, I, I don't know when he swapped that barracks onto a tech lab, but whatever, it starts it now. He, Alive will have a significant advantage in that, plus if combat it, shields. I'm kind of tentative to say this, but like, if it comes down to it, maybe? But like, right now, I guess he can't really break three tanks. But there was, yeah. a, there was a small belief here I had that he might be able to catch Alive on Siege and just go for the win. But creeping forward, he's going to have the vision advantage. He knows this too, so ooh, it's one tank gone. Mm -hmm. Now, the problem with the faster stim for Alive is that he's not going to have many units to use it. He doesn't have very much marine production. Still only working off of one barracks where Kira's already up to five. That's the biggest tell of his economic lead. And while the, the Vikings look scary now, it, they're only scary in the slow siege hop kind of way. If Alive ever gets caught on siege moving forward, here's massive army supply will... They won't care about Vikings. Well, I was, uh... I guess not so surprised to see that Cure has a nice army going on. Tech being the biggest difference, obviously, you know, you bring up the stim timing. But if nothing happens soon, that stim timing will be a little irrelevant. Mm-hmm. And Might it doesn't look like anything can happen. Actually, I'm a little surprised Alive didn't take this opportunity to speed boost his way to combat shields, which would be an equally big, if not bigger, upgrade when it comes down to those marine fights. Oh, this is... Yeah, I don't want to risk throwing away the game. I mean, it's only three tanks still. It's not like the Vikings have smart servos, so they can really help out if need be, but yeah, Ooh. like, why risk it? Picking off the Medivacs has proven to be really easy. Now he can land his own Vikings here, too, and help out. 
But the tanks already do a great job taking out what little there is on the ground. Interference Matrix on the backside too. Lands on top of the tanks. Bonus damage versus mechanical reminder. So these Vikings shred through the tanks. Oh, Why? Kira's army dissipates. I guess Kira thought the lack of Vikings would be good enough, but he attacked before Stim, and I thought Stim was going to be how he was going to break it. He could have uh, split a little bit faster and jumped on the tanks faster, but uh, oh well. He... Still has a lead. I wonder if he even realized that. That could have just been a simple mistake in timing. Like, he knew in his head 30 seconds, but he pushes at 28, not realizing type thing. That's very true. He did try and, and use it immediately as it, as it finished, but he still has the lead in, in su oh. supply, SCVs, workers, upgrades, production. Uh, only lead he doesn't have is in the air control, which I just, I'm not convinced is going to be really that helpful for Alive. The Liberator is, is cooler against mech, not bio. By the way, I, like 10 out of 10 on that scan just now, completely shutting down two drops going to the main with a scan alone. Uh, but yeah, this is this is tough to say. Like the Liberator beats out the tanks, if that's what it comes down to, cool. But uh, the Marine numbers for Kira are quite big. He's going to pick off the third CC. Straight up. SCP's trying to repair. Oh, going to get on top of it. Even then, uh, going to lose the SCVs. That, that's about as much damage as the CC going down. Yeah, 50 SCVs is pretty bad. It does leave his tanks wide open to be killed for that Liberator. So three is, is really worth one Liberator, and she's still alive. I don't know how Kira dodged out of the way, but he did. So he sees the Marines. Some good damage though, man, like, uh, alive now down to 51 workers. His upgrade's still behind, as Cure's on his way to 2-2. Two -two. That 2-2's two gonna be really powerful. Mm -hmm. I also didn't realize how big of a deal it was, of course, we mentioned this, but Cure's got combat shields, alive doesn't, so there's just no way his marines can take a fight right now. He's down in upgrades in every single way you could reference it. Yep. Alive, I thought I was gonna tap out as soon as the marines broke his oh. natural. Waiting a little bit longer. Oh, there right. we go. GG, cure. 2-1, we'll move on to the Grand Finals, where he'll face off against Innovation. I mean, I really, I, I was hoping, kind of thinking we'd see Innovation versus Alive, but I'm also totally okay with Innovation versus Cure. This is a cool, cool matchup, as we now go to a best of five Grand Finals. But while we get there, guys, we'll be going to a commercial break. It's been, oh. <laughs> like 40 minutes since our last one if you guys have enjoyed the show make sure you hit the follow button i don't know how much more time we have on the front page but uh for those who have joined us from it welcome i hope you've enjoyed your time here on the channel uh last thing i'll say though a bit of a self-advertising the coffee link that we have in chat is still active if you guys like dodger you want to get involved with dodger coffee you want to buy some of that stuff from the store you can use the code proam uh you get 10 percent discount just type exclamation mark coffee in chat you'll be linked to the site that's going to be active for another four days, and then the discount code disappears, and we won't get anything from it. So, I'm encouraging you guys to check it out and consider buying some coffee in the next four days. But, uh, break time. See you soon.